Colossians chapter 3. And again, my beautiful assistant is going to read for us just the verses 1 and 2. Great. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Okay. So set your hearts on things above. Set your minds on things above. Um, if you think of it, yeah, this is good to think of as a bit like a journey or a race. You know, life is, in the Bible is described as like competing in, in a race. Um, as you set out today, I wonder what have you set your heart and mind on? Have you, you know, it's easy to start out. Imagine starting out a race, but not having any finish line, not having any tracks to be running in. Yeah, you just, to just setting out aimlessly, just taking things as they take you, as it were. We can be like that, can't we? That our, our approach to life, even our approach to this day can be like that. Or maybe you're, as you set out, things, other things have determined how your day is going to pan out. Um, so, yeah, is your, have you, is your setting, as it were, unintentional or intentional? Or maybe you set your mind on a whole bunch of things. You've got things in mind that you want to do today, that you want to achieve today. Well, Paul says, set your minds on things, your hearts and your minds on things above. So I want to encourage us to do that. Yeah, what does it mean to set your heart on things above? It means intentionally thinking, right, today I am going to make the things that I value, God, yeah, he's going to be my main priority today. And, and, and being aware, not only of making him our priority, but knowing what the other things are and making sure that they're not our priority. So kind of a positive and a negative to, to think, right, today it's all about God in everything that I do. And being aware that this could steal my focus and this could become something I'm set on maybe achieving a particular task. Or, you know, or, or maybe, like I said, just being aimless. Or are you going to set your heart and mind on things above? In other words, as you go through this day, having in mind what it is you're trying to achieve. And, and, and the, the right thing is, as he says, since then you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above. So, so what is it that you would be? angry about or upset about if it's not achieved today because that tells you what your heart is set on the thing you know we get upset and angry when the heart doesn't get what it wants okay so are there things that you're really valuing today or that you're likely to value that perhaps you shouldn't value as much how upset will you be if you get to the end of this day and you've completely forgotten about god you know, that, that should be something that really upsets you and makes you think, no, I've been robbed. And, uh, what, and you'll feel like that if your heart's been set on the Lord. So set your heart on Christ. Set your mind on Christ. Jesus said, where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. And that's why when we think about what we value, it's important. Are we, are we valuing the things of this day? Imagine today whatever your plans are other things came up and you couldn't do any of those things it doesn't mean that you can't have your heart and mind set still on christ and if your heart and mind is set on christ you won't be so upset about those other things so 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 would you would you do that can i encourage you to do that after this little devotional think right what how am i going, going to set my day what's the intention what am i trying to achieve to ask yourself that question and maybe spend just two minutes with the lord saying lord i really want to please you whatever obstacles come up whatever opportunities come up lord i want to please you help me to do that throughout this day can i encourage us to do that yeah amen